Hi guys, good morning. Happy January 15th. So I figured I would finally bring back the vlogs. I took a little break, but I am back. So I'm in the process this morning of doing some cleaning. I just went downstairs, made myself some tea, cut up some strawberries. On today's agenda, I am going to have a facial, my mother and I, and then um, most likely just re be relaxing for the rest of the day. I've been looking over some uh, work from school because classes start tomorrow, so everything's already been uploaded on the Blackboard. None of the modules are open, but um, everything's pretty much up there for you to read over and stuff like that. Hi guys, so my mom and I are getting ready to leave so we can go have our facials. We're going to a place called Medical Aesthetics. Um, so when we get there, the first thing we're going to do, of course, after we check in and everything, we're going to meet with the esthetician and we are going to have our consultation. So just kind of talk about our skin, our skin concerns, um, and then kind of what we are expecting or what we would like for the hydrafacial to kind of do for us or kind of you know like I said what we're expecting and then just kind of go from there so I'm super excited I'm looking forward to it I'm going to take you guys along with me this is my first hydrafacial like I said before um, I'm really not big into facials um, as far as the kind where you know they put the different creams and serums on and stuff like that so I'm really looking forward to this one with some of the micro needling and the peeling and stuff like that so you're supposed to kind of start seeing results immediately after so we will see my main purpose for this is to kind of work on some of the dark spots which you guys know I said that I do have some because I do kind of have a tendency to pick and then I kind of work on I kind of want to work on like my texture a little bit as well so that's the purpose um, and that's kind of what I'm looking for so like I said I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we'll go from there so I will check in with you guys bye like the little dark spots yeah. yeah they're mostly like on my chin or under my chin from breakout mm -hmm. and I just took the back of your earring off somewhere or the back so there are a couple things you can do for that treatments like this of course sunscreen is your biggest line of defense you don't want to when you get a blemish you do not want to get any sun exposure okay that's what actually causes oh the darkness the darkness uh -huh. that and the inflammation in the and the blemish okay but sunscreen is what will continue to make that dark i mean sun exposure okay is what will continue you know and it, you definitely have more melanin than i have right so if we right. go out in the sun together you're probably going to get brown i'm going to get red and maybe even blister right but we're both prone to pigmentation so the natural response would be that we would both get discoloration on a blemish does that make sense? Yes, of course.
feel a little bit of a tingle okay. in here, accent treatment. When I say that, it just means it's glycolic and salicylic. We're going to do the face first and then the chin second. Okay. Love. This turns me hard. There you go. Let me know if you have any tingling. It feels fine right now. Good. Say this is a very popular treatment right now there's a lot of buzz about it so that's kind of nice um it is nice because pretty much everybody can have it even people who come in and think that they really have sensitive skin so it's a really nice treatment um and we can do it before an event you know people that come in and they have plans so and they want that it's glow a, and that yeah instinct. it's a universal treatment though i love that i can use it on someone who has acne i love that i can use it on someone who's, you know, got really fragile skin, sensitive skin, delicate skin. Yeah, because I definitely do have sensitive skin. So that was like one of my main concerns. In men taking care of themselves and it's really wonderful and this is actually a really good treatment for a man because it's a, a real thing with men now is to have facial hair it's become quite popular to have a bit of a beard this machine is actually powerful enough to exfoliate over facial hair so really oh, wow. this is actually one of our favorites for a gentleman you want to kind of a video. Oh, so this okay. is yes. right all and this is we're going to use on your dark spots along the chin and it has vitamin C and arbutin, and it helps to break up stubborn pigmentation. Okay. So it can be used for melasma. It can be used for any type of acne discoloration. We can even use it around the eyes a little bit for under eye discoloration if it's brown from the sun. But yes, we do. We have more every year. Our uh, percentage of male clientele, I've really seen that really grow. Wow. And even when I go to Vegas at the aesthetic show and some of our, you know, medical trainings that we go to it's across the board it's you know that we're seeing more and more men seeking treatments uh cool sculpting is very popular for men as well as women so that's again and we're kind of lifting up the skin a little bit as well with our suction it's really good for this time of the year when our skin really feels like it needs extra hydration it's not going to make you feel oily it's just going to make you feel basically like you just drink a nice glass of water for your skin okay so kind of like plump or exactly. Okay. That's what the difference between moisturizer is temporary. Hydration is something that actually helps to plump up the skin. Can you explain a little bit about like the difference between the red light and blue light therapy? Mm -hmm. So blue light we use for acne. Okay. And red light we typically use to calm as well as to stimulate collagen. Okay. So we do offer both. Um, with this treatment we really just do about a three to five minute kind of end treatment. Um, but we also have a treatment that we offer where you can sit under a red or blue light for 30 minutes. That's an excellent, excellent treatment to pair with like a facial. If we're doing extractions, it's great for like, acne. Okay. So the blue light is the best for acne. The blue light is the best for acne. Okay. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't get that. Let me zoom in. I was going to snap a little picture.
It's oh, so, not too bad. That's so gross. <laughs> She yeah, keeps saying it's not bad, but to us it looks gunky. Oh, that it's like hydrated. Yes, it's fine to to um, touch it, but again, no sweat. I don't want you to sweat or wash your face for six hours. Okay, it would be better not to put makeup on. Right. Okay. Yeah, but you don't have to feel like you can't touch it. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. All right, and then I'll look forward to seeing you guys at your next appointment. Yes. Kind of figure out. Hi guys, how are you? So I am back from my Hydra facial as you guys saw the whole process with uh, my esthetician Dina who was absolutely fabulous. So I just kind of wanted to go through and show you guys my face right now. So I am a little red right here because um, I had a little bump that was there um, from the last couple days before I went. So then throughout the process of the exfoliation and the peel and then just kind of, you know, just messing with the skin. Um, it is a little red. So for the next 24 to 48 hours, I may be a little bit more red kind of under my eye. Um, and I may experience a little bit of peeling, which is what Dina told me. So I told her my specific concerns, and that was to target hyperpigmentation and to kind of firm up my skin. So when she got down here to my chin, as you guys saw, she kind of focused more on that area. With the chemical peel she did a little bit of a spot treatment and also added in a little bit of a brightening serum um, and then just went through and did the whole routine so it is called hydrofacial for a reason because you guys saw that machine and it uses like a water pulsation so the whole time i was feeling like a cool water kind of running down my face um, but it is perfectly safe for sensitive skin. It is perfectly safe for men. So I was very, very pleased. And I'm really loving the way my face is looking right now. Like it's looking very plump and hydrated. It's looking very firm. So I've already booked my second appointment. And I was very, very pleased. The staff was super, super friendly. This is my first hydrofacial and I was like, I've got to go and try this. And I'm so glad that I did. So it is recommended that you um, have a hydrofacial like every 28 days or so. And it's just kind of targeting your skin and what you're looking for. So they can kind of target and tweak things a little bit based on your skincare needs. So yes, thank you Dina at Medical Aesthetics so much. So if you guys are in Virginia or in the Virginia area or anything like that and you're interested in having a facial or just any type of skincare treatment and you want to check out Medical Aesthetics, all of their information will be down below in the description box. And if you were to visit them, when you fill out or when you talk to Joe, who is the receptionist, and she asks you, you know, how did you find out about us? And you can mention my name. You can just say Jay from YouTube or whatever the case may be. You will be offered a certain percentage off of your service at the time. So yeah, that is a little perk for you guys. Um, but this is not sponsored at all. Like this was my first time going and I just told them that I was a vlogger. So it ended up being mutually beneficial. Um, so yes, I'm super, super pleased and I will keep you guys updated on the progress of my skin. You guys can follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And as always, make sure you hit that big red button down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.